what is up guys this is do work from one hive 2.0 slash one hive invicta uh back with another hog rider series here this time i am with uh, a clan called the swarm uh, they are a level seven uh almost up there to level eight clan um, they've already got 93 wins uh, and this is probably one of the more legit uh three-star up-and-coming clans that I've uh, that I've seen so far uh, just to give you a look here uh, they have one loss uh, the rest uh, they have two ties up here uh, but the rest are all green uh, so I mean hands down the best record I've seen so far hands down uh, the best up-and-coming clan I've seen so far there's been a lot uh, and no disrespect to the clans that I've already visited but uh, these guys just seem uh, a little bit more experienced with the three star attacks. So uh, I was here for their last war, uh, which I actually had a sneak live attack in, uh, but after the update, uh, it cleared out the wars, and I don't want to mix wars up on you guys, so uh, I decided to stay for another war uh, and get an idea uh, of some fresh attacks here. Um, so I'm going to go through some of these. Uh, one of the best Town Hall 10 attackers uh, I think I've seen in the game up to today uh, is this guy right here, Yankee. Uh, I mean, hands down. Uh, I went back through his last uh, last couple wars. Uh, let's see if we can do, at least see the stats. Uh, look at that. Two three stars against uh, Town Hall 10s. Uh, we'll check the next one uh, as far as I can go back. And this one he had another... Uh, another, this one was a six star against their two and seven, uh, and I mean they, they're legit. You know, I'm I'm here. I'm they, they, from what I've noticed, uh, and I'm it's easy to, to spot. You know, uh, those that like like to take advantage, but none of these guys do that. They're they're very anti uh, anti modding, anti manipulation of the game. They you know they are straight up fair play. They love the fact uh, that they're they're destroying these clans, fair play. Uh, whether it's their first attack or it's their cleanup, these guys, uh, I don't think I've seen in the last two, I'm pretty sure they cleared all Town Hall 9s, uh, as well as at least two Town Hall 10s being three-starred. Those two Town Hall 10 three-stars, huge difference. Uh, if you get two or more Town Hall 10s getting three and you're cleaning the 9s, 9.9 uh, 9 .9 times out of 10, you're going to walk away victorious, which uh, which just goes to show uh, in their war log. So, I mean, these guys are straight up legit. Uh, I love them here. So, uh, I'm going to go back over some replays uh, from this war. A lot of the ones from the last two wars got deleted uh, once they did the update. So, again, I'm going to start out here with Yankee, three-starring uh, the Town Hall 10 here with... Uh, in the, he, he, he does the same attack, uh, but all his three stars are pretty much the same. Uh, and he goes in there, with, they're all mostly queen walks with a La Loon. Uh, this time he actually brought a little less loons than normal. Uh, typically, well, from what I've seen, he brings in about 35 balloons. Uh, but uh, he just, he works this queen walk, he gets them in there. Uh, I, think th I think at this point he's able to take out, if not one, two, uh, Two air defenses here, if, if I'm not mistaken. But he gets the rage on that healer queen combo. Queen's not going to go down. Drops the poison. Loons are done. Look at that dragon's already done. Uh, that queen and a rage, especially next, uh, does a lot of damage. And uh, yeah, this is the one where she does get both. She's going to walk or walk down. She's going to grab that second one. Uh, and now he, I believe that the queen falls out of the range of that uh, inferno. She just wraps all the way down. Uh, and right now there's only two single point defenses. I mean, there's still, uh, I don't think he lost any healer so far. So we still have six of them down there. Maybe, maybe he lost one. That's five, but still level 40 queen. She's going to do more than her job. Look at this. She's going to take out a quarter of the base just by herself, plus the, the clan castle. Uh, and then she's going to come down here and she's going to wind up taking out, uh, the, the standing archer queen. <coughs> so, um, all at the cost of six healers. So that was absolutely phenomenal. In comes the La Loon side. Uh, and he's going to kind of do like a like a wraparound wall. Uh, he drops two, go 
two hounds going to the first uh, air defense here. He rages those balloons on top of that uh, that that single inferno right there, as well as the uh, the Teslas. Now, what I like here is he created a funnel with his queen after that queen took out so much of the base to where there's no way for those looms to come traveling all the way over to the left side down here, you know, in this area. He made it to where the loons are going to come just straight up. They're going to devastate, and then they're going to creep to the left a little bit. But uh, because, of the, because of those multi-infernos, uh, they did take a little bit of damage. Uh, he did wind up losing a lot, but he still has that max hound up there, uh, which the archer tower is triggering that one, uh, which gives those two loons just enough time uh, to come up uh, and, and finish off the game here. So that hound pops, which is good. He gets those pups working on cleanup. Uh, nothing else can take out those loons at this point, so uh, it's all over but the cleanup. Uh, so fantastic job, Yankee. Uh, I mean, he just continues crushing it here. Uh, there was another one. Hold on, I forgot which base. Yeah, I had him written down. I apologize, but uh, okay. So uh, Austin, uh, Austin's one of their top town hall tens or town hall nines. I'm sorry, uh, but he's also just beast mode. Uh, so he comes in uh, number eight uh, with another La Loon. These guys are killing it with the La Loons here. Uh, he creates uh, a relatively wide funnel, but he gets exactly what he ne what he needs with it. Uh, and then he's just going to jump uh, his whole kill squad right there into the core. Uh, and then it's a late a late drop on the king on this one. He wants to give you know give his kill squad time to take some of those out uh, and let that king come up uh, to take out the archer queen. The archer queen is going to be the first one to target. Uh, so if you saw the late drop there. Uh, he's going to come in as soon as that queen starts uh, starts shooting at him. Look at, he reroutes uh, right there, and he's going to come straight after the queen. That's the first thing he can hit. Uh, he's going to use his rage here. There he is, down. Uh, there you go, down goes the queen. Uh, he's about to take down that expo. Uh, and then as soon as this last air defense, the second one goes down, he starts his, his La Loon side of it. Uh, so... Uh, he almost lost his queen there, uh, but he cloaked her, uh, and by the time he gets uh, these La Loon side out of it, uh, he's able to uh, keep that queen alive and help get her uh, shooting down those trash buildings since all those defenses are being uh, pretty much wiped out by the balloons. Um, so again, he keeps this, this, uh, this one was a counterclockwise motion, but he keeps that same rhythm going throughout the whole attack. Uh, he's got one more hound left, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, yeah, he still has one hound left yet that hasn't popped, and there it goes. Uh, so now he has as many pups as possible. He still has his queen standing, uh, and just that one little blower for his last defense, and now it's all over but the crying, fellas. Uh, I'll have a little four X's so you guys can see the queen. Or you can see the three, I'm sorry. And there we go, so... Uh, another fantastic, uh, fantastic uh, job by Austin. Uh, uh, another one that I wanted to show was is it this one. This one, King of Clash. Uh, this guy, he, he, he's a Town Hall eight, but he's probably uh, one of the best Town Hall eights I've seen. Um, this guy goes in. He he's not he's not scared of any base. He will go in and he will hog. Uh, any base and he does a good job at it uh, so uh, we're gonna go through this he this one he does a lore and uh, he will poison or I don't think he poison he does po I can't remember on this one now he's just gonna save that poison for the skellies uh, so he he starts up here uh, this was a cleanup attack so he knew those uh, those double giant bombs were there uh, so he was able to uh, send in about four or five in there uh, and pull those double giant bombs uh, and then it's just a, a mass hog attack right there uh, a couple heals and just crushes this base I'm going to 4x this so you guys can see down goes the cleanup crew and and there's the there's the three with the swag poison uh, another great job uh, 
by King of Clash. Uh, so that is, uh, that's the recap for the Swarm. And uh, uh, but give these guys a look. Uh, these guys are pretty, pretty beast mode over here. Uh, here is their clan information. Uh, there's their clan tag if you're looking for it. Uh, I'll let you guys take a look at their war log again. Uh, I'm not sure if you like the color green, but they sure do. Uh, so, uh, give these guys a look, and thanks for watching, fellas.